NATO's ballistic missile defence has reached a new milestone. Reacting to the proliferation of ballistic missiles, especially in the southeast, it protects against these threats to European allied populations, territory and deployed forces. To engage a ballistic missiles is exactly as to uh, counter a rifle bullets with another rifle bullets. So it's quite a, a, a fantastic system that needs all these kind of systems that should be all interconnected. Made up of sensors and interceptors placed both on land and at sea, nations contribute both assets and personnel who train together to work in the event of a crisis in a worldwide network that centers around the command headquarters at Ramstein, Germany. It's important to understand that the NATO nations provide the resources for ballistic missile defense and everything is linked in here to Ramstein. Nations resources stand ready to carry out that action. During an at-sea demonstration in Scotland, a US Aegis ship, one of four they contribute to NATO's ballistic missile defense, worked with Dutch radar to track and intercept an incoming missile. Meanwhile, a new site in Romania containing a so-called Aegis Ashore interceptor provides more capability and powerful radar in Turkey provide early warning. Speed is of the essence. We watch the tracking of the inbound missile and then we direct the firing units to engage. Or we can hold fire depending on what type of information that we have. At an exercise called Steadfast Alliance, the whole chain from simulated crisis to intercepting an incoming missile was practiced, certifying that NATO is ready to move to what's known as initial operational capability. That includes NATO command and control of the new Aegis Ashore site in Romania. Taking into account the instability in certain regions of the world, ongoing right now, we took those factors and placed it into the fictitious world that was built for Steadfast Alliance. So targets that could have been affected during Steadfast Alliance were anywhere from a large population center to any military airport, seaport, port of debarkation used by NATO forces to forward project forces to defend NATO European territory along the southern flank. With a further Aegis Ashore site planned in Poland, other future national contributions will include upgraded sea-based radars, ground-based lower layer interceptors or complementary force protection assets coming from various European allies. All these contributions will deepen the networked and multinational nature of NATO ballistic missile defence architecture.